Meanwhile, Sasol stock fell over 5% to 18 cents as the company faced challenges from a stronger rand, fluctuating oil prices and reduced refining margins in its latest quarterly report. While the overall market outlook for 2025 remains stable, the forecast for net trev has been downgraded and lower fuel sales volumes are anticipated. Furthermore, CEO Simon Bloy stated that the company is focusing on cost control and operational enhancements to navigate economic uncertainties. Analyst Zimel Mbanjo provides further analysis on Sasol's recent results. So the first quarter update um, from Sasol was for the most part positive, with full year guidance being maintained across most operations uh, except for NetRef, where guidance was lowered primarily due to planned shutdown and startup delays in the first quarter as well as some issues that the operation uh, faced towards the end of the quarter. Management remains very positive um, uh, going forward. However, there is some margin risk due to the volatile nature of the oil markets as well as the energy prices um, and also just higher costs that are eating into margin.